Hey, family. Thanks for stopping by. That's right, bro. I'm glad to hang out with you, sharing interesting facts from history. Thanks, bro. And today, we are at it again, talking about an icon in the civil rights movement and on the Supreme Court. Yeah, today we are sharing interesting facts from the biography of Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall is known in history for his works as a lawyer, civil rights activist, and the first African-American justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. Change in history. I likes that, bro. Now, when looking back at the life of Thurgood Marshall, he was originally named Thoroughgood Marshall and was born on July 2nd, 1908 in Baltimore, Maryland. Nice, bro. Talking about his name at birth, it was pretty long. Young Thoroughgood would eventually change his name to Thurgood. He once admitted, by the time I reached the second grade, I got tired of spelling all that out and had shortened it to Thurgood. I understand, bro. Could you imagine writing that every time you had to fill out your homework assignment? Right. Now, one cool thing you have to tell him about is how his father sparked his interest in law. For sure. Marshall developed an interest in law when his dad took him to watch legal arguments at a local courthouse. From there, Thurgood and his father would later go home to have discussions about what happened in the court at the dinner table. Marshall admitted he never told me to be a lawyer, but he turned me into one. Of course, talking about his education, Thurgood Marshall wanted to be a lawyer after he graduated from Lincoln University in 1930. The crazy part, though, was after applying to the University of Maryland Law School, he was rejected. The reason he was rejected at that time was because he was black and they turned black students away. But that didn't stop Thurgood Marshall. He would go on to attend Howard University Law School and received his law degree in 1933, ranking at the top of his class. Right. That's where Marshall would begin affecting change in the United States, working at a law practice in Baltimore. For example, Marshall made a name for himself helping school teachers who were discriminated against. Marshall fought for equal pay for African American teachers. Here, he would go on to score a huge victory for teachers when a federal court struck down pay discrimination against African American teachers in Maryland. And Thurgood Marshall didn't stop their family. He wanted to make a difference, so he continued to fight for other teachers across 10 states in the South to help them get equal pay, too. Yes, sir. Marshall was a boss in the world of law. In the 1940s and 50s, he was known as a winner, getting victories in 29 of his 32 cases presented to the U.S. Supreme Court. That's right. And one of the biggest cases that we know of in U.S. history that impacted education came at the hands of Thurgood Marshall. That was crazy because there was a certain point in history where me and you couldn't even go to the same school, bro. Crazy, right? But that is where Thurgood Marshall changed the game. Marshall argued before the Supreme Court and Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka that segregating students in school was wrong. In his argument before the Supreme Court, Marshall argued that segregation in public education created unequal schools for African Americans and whites. Yes, Marshall argued that psychologically separating blacks from whites was unfair, along with all the other facts he shared on how it hurt blacks socially throughout history. All I can say is Thurgood Marshall was a bad man, bro. You are right about that, Lee. In fact, Thurgood Marshall was such an influence in the legal world that in 1961, Marshall was nominated to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit by President John F. Kennedy. The crazy thing is, although Marshall had proved he was one of the greatest legal minds in the country, he still faced racism in Washington with Southern senators fighting to delay his confirmation for months. It is crazy how some people can try to stop progress, but that didn't stop Marshall. Fast forwarding to June 13th in 1967, President Lyndon B. Johnson recognized Marshall's greatness as well. That is where he nominated Thurgood Marshall to the U.S. Supreme Court, where he would later be confirmed by the U.S. Senate on August 30th in 1967, becoming the first African American to join the U.S. Supreme Court in history. During his time on the Supreme Court, 
Thurgood Marshall was known for standing up for the rights of the country's minorities and also those who stood up for social justice. Marshall would remain on the Supreme Court until 1991. The life of Thurgood Marshall was filled with many successes due to his impact on the civil rights movement and more. In fact, his life was even celebrated in the world of film. That is where in 2017 with the film Marshall, they released a biopic on his life starring Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman. The life of Thurgood Marshall came to an end on January 24th, 1993 at the age of 84. But the impact that he had on the civil rights movement and social justice in America, yo, it will never be forgotten. And thanks for hanging out with us, sharing interesting facts from the biography of Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court Justice.